Happy New Year, everyone. And welcome back to the Seaboard Central. This is the January 2023 layout update. And there's a lot that's been going on this past month, so let's get started. First up is Seaboard Central 152 has joined the ranks. If you recall, this was the former GMTX 426 unit. At the end of the lease, Seaboard Central purchased it, re-lettered it, and added some air conditioners to the roof. This joined with his sister, one the 151. Both are Ather Genesis GP15s that I've upgraded with low sound decoders with a built-in current keeper and also scale sound system speakers. We'll get one more shot of them as they pull the outbound cars out of ADM. And now for the star of the show. The Atlas MP15DC has returned from the shop. So this Atlas MP15DC has been completely upgraded by Georgia Bigfoot Trains. I'm gonna show you everything he's done to it. Which it has some really cool features. One of the things I needed was a power pack keep alive added to it. So he was able to get the ESU58921 decoder in it that has the built in power pack current keeper. And another thing he did was he added the LED ditch lights to it, along with other LED lights. And I'll show you those. So one cool feature is the ground lights out over the rear truck. He's able to add that. And if you look inside, you can even see lights for the control stand. I tweaked the decoder settings on this, added a new horn to the roof. And this is turning out to be my favorite engine to switch with. At least for now. Give you a close up view of that cab interior. Even painted the figure in the control stand. Excellent work.
So in addition to that, I've been mainly focused on working on the structured part of ADM and I wanna get this all wrapped up, including the scenery on this module by the end of January. So I really wanted to give this ADM structure a heavy industrial look. And you can see where I've added the uh, ladders and cages and vents and also started adding some grain bins and dryers, you name it. And here's the other side. You can see how I've started adding some more storage bins and even a processing building in the back. I've got a few more kits on the way to wrap this building up and then we can move on to other things. But I like the way it's really turned out. It really looks like a large industry, large enough to support all the business that the Seaboard Central plans to give to it. So coming up next week, my plan is to start working on the scenery again on this end of the layout. So be sure to come back next Sunday and we'll try to do some more blending in, adding some grasses and different shrubs to help the look of that scene. So hope you've enjoyed this layout update. Until next time, thanks for watching the Seaboard Central, and happy model railroading everyone.